let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Just like key rebounds, when we get that Justin stepping up, Butler stepping up, Dave doing... Dave was just getting steals, getting big rebounds, Dan playing better defense. Just the whole team coming together as one collective will to win this game. Yeah. That's, a, that's a big team, but uh, you stayed with them on the board. Yeah. This is significant improvement from past years. What's the difference? Um, well, it's just like Kay said, um, just a collective will. We knew coming into this game, Odomi is a, a good rebounding team. They're physical. They're going to try to dominate us inside, you know, with Lee in there. Um, you know, they got good post players. You know, it's just us, you know, just showing up, being focused, and just everybody flying in there and getting rebounds. And I think that's the big difference right there. That zone that seemed to throw you for a loop in the first half, you didn't seem to have any difficulty with it in the second half. Uh, we weren't moving in the first half. Uh, me, I know personally, I was just throwing it to the wing and just staying up top. Coach told me to move and get the offense moving. When I kick it, just go through and get the offense started. And once I get the offense started, then good things happen. Butler hitting threes. Uh, Justin with some good backdoor cuts. Dan finding them. Uh, everybody just got moving and made it easier. Can you guys, oh, can you guys tell when it's demoralizing to keep passing ball, keep passing ball, keep passing ball, and then get some wide open guy who drains the three pointer, how demoralizing that is for the other guys. Um, well, I mean, I, we, we just know how hype it is for us. Uh, it's just big motivation for us. I, I can't speak about the other team. Uh, I know when it happens to us, though, that's very demoralizing. So, yeah. I mean, I guess it goes both ways. So it's kind of it's kind of on that a little bit. When you guys are on a roll, coming right out of the gate there in the beginning of the second half, Justin, what was that kind of like for you guys? Oh. You know, collectively, all of a sudden, now getting yeah. together. Getting yeah, together. everybody was so into it. You know, we knew we had to come out with a big spark. Dave came out, like, just unbelievable, making huge plays, like, like within the first two minutes, and then just sparked us, gave us a nice little run going into the second half, and we were just able to build on that. Jim, the past couple wins, you guys have built the early lead and had to kind of hang on. This is a little bit different. You had to battle back. Talk about kind of gaining confidence like that, kind of going into the, into the um, it just shows our maturity. Um, even when we uh, won against Mississippi State, uh, we were down late and we came back and won the game. And this is similar. We were down early in the first half and we just stayed in there and then just chopped it down in that second half each, uh, by each media timeout. And we were up, we started to get up 12. And uh, I mean that's I mean that's really big for us. Does it give you confidence that this works, even if it doesn't work right now? This offense, this defense is going to work. Throughout. Yeah, we know our defense is good, and the offense, uh, if we're moving, we, we can hit shots. If we're moving, uh, if the ball is moving, it's easy for us to hit shots. It goes inside, it goes outside. It's easy for us to hit shots like in the second half we saw. First half, it wasn't moving. We weren't playing defense. We just weren't good in the first half. Just the same question. Just talk about the, the confidence level of this team and kind of not getting away from what works. Yeah, definitely. That's that's basically the, the – the biggest part of us becoming a better team is just being confident and running our stuff. Just knowing that, you know, if we're all focused in and, you know, just have that will, that our defense is going to shut other teams down. Just coming out there with the right the right mentality, you know, and, uh, and um, I'm just proud of the way we came out there. If we can keep doing that, it'll be real great going, going up against these bigger teams. Guys, can you talk about how, you know, you seeing them in person last weekend made it a little easier to prepare for this matchup? Uh, I mean, seeing them last weekend and even last year, we watched the tape over and over again. Uh, they just out rebounded us last year. Um, it was they out rebounded us like 40 to like 25. So we had to be physical with them. Uh, they had everybody returning back, so we knew it was going to be the same game. And if we rebounded, we thought we had a pretty good chance of winning the game. Justin, same question. Oh, definitely. Um, we just knew that we had to come out there with the right mentality first off and then, you know, matching their, their physicality and their intensity on the boards because last year that was, that was how they, they got at us and, you know, just had that they had a first, first half lead of about 20 points because they were just dominating us inside. You know, everybody just, um, we, we're trying to change that. So everybody came out there firing in, getting rebounds. So it, was, it was a good job. Obviously, this was a pretty good non-conference schedule you guys have been going through. What are your thoughts, Justin, on coming out of gate here seven and one? Oh, um, you know it's it's great. You know for our for our resume, we're trying to get to that tournament. That's our that's our that's our ultimate goal right there. And, you know it starts with getting these big wins. You know whether it's on the road or neutral sites, just coming out there ready to play no matter where we're at, and you know and just going into the conference season, you know with a with a decent decent record and beating those big teams. Think about 
uh, four minutes left, it went to a full court press. You guys, first time, turned it over, but towards the end of the game, you seemed to uh, be able to handle it. Do you think that last year, that's something that was uh, taking you out of the game and allowed Ultimate to come back? Yeah, I think so. Just the way we're handling the games late. Uh, and uh, the games we won, Mississippi State, Missouri, this game, just handling the games late, just staying in there. Most of the time when teams had lead on us, uh, we would just break down and we're just hanging in there, just staying confident, and we're coming away with these wins in these big games. Guys, you're off to a great start, but I know you have a long layoff. I know you're finals and everything like that. How do you kind of keep that sharpness there with, what, a 10-day, 12-day layoff, I believe, before you play against BCU? Yeah, um, I think the layoff is pretty good. Uh, my body, and I, I know everybody else's body is breaking down right now. I know mine is. Uh, so I'm in looking forward to this layoff, but, I mean, we're going to stay focused and stay sharp because – VCU is, they beat us the past four years and enough is enough, so we, we got to come out ready to play. So this layoff is not going to break our intensity, if anything. I know it's not going to break definitely that. Not, definitely not. Justin? Oh, definitely. It's not, it's not going to, you know, break our focus at all. You know, we got VCU coming up. You know, that's another huge game for us. You know, um, in-town rivalry game. You know, we, we, we really love going against them. You know, we got to bring it against VCU at their, at their house. You know, um, we, you get some rest over these next couple of um, first couple of days off and then, you know, go back to work.